of all the different fixes in the West. Good old hooch was the number one drug of choice. In towns and cities, liquor flowed 24-7. Bodie, California is a good example. There were 50 saloons to take care of those 7,000 in that town. The men imbibed prodigious amounts of alcohol, mostly in the form of whiskey. In an era without purified water, drinking on the job was common. Now, did you ever see a cowboy in a Western movie drink a half a bottle of whiskey in the saloon, then go outside, get in a gunfight, and actually win? It's not as far-fetched as you might think. A lot of people would get their drink on in the, uh, the Old West. The majority of Western saloon regulars drank rye whiskey or bourbon. If a man ordered a fancy cocktail or sipped at his drink, he was often ridiculed unless he already had a proven reputation as a tough guy. Some of the popular drinks in the Old West were peculiar to California in the Southwest. Tequila, mezcal, and the popular brew aguardiente. We always tend to think that they drank their beer warm. And if they had to, they would. But in many places, if they lived in uh, a mountainous region, they could have cold drinks, even for months after the snow disappeared, because some of these bars would hire wagons to go up and fill the wagon with snow, bring it down, put it in a basement, cover it with sawdust, and keep the beer in there so that this was something they could advertise to bring customers in to get a good cold beer. According to some cowboys, the perfect hangover cure was a stiff cup of rabbit poo tea. Other than alcohol, one of the only other vices that is still legal today is tobacco. At first, it was produced mainly for pipe smoking, chewing, and snuff. Chewing tobacco was so popular in the Old West that spittoons were installed into the, into the saloons. The most common form of smoking tobacco was in a cigar. And cigars were made relatively cheaply in the Conestoga Valley of Pennsylvania. And they became known as Conestogas or Stogies. Cigars were mainly smoked in towns and cities as they were too delicate to ride through the frontier with. There was no need for cigar lounges back then. Every saloon was full of thick, smelly smoke. Cigarettes were uh, mostly used in the early years of the Old West by Hispanic cowboys called vaqueros. And this habit of smoking became popular among the American cowboy. 21-year-old inventor James Bonsack introduced the automated cigarette rolling machine in 1884. The process started with a series of belts and rollers that evenly distributed the tobacco. A unique twisting belt formed the tobacco into a roll. The same principle wrapped paper around the tobacco in a continuous spiral. Bonsack's invention revolutionized tobacco production. A person could hand roll only four cigarettes a minute. Bonsack's machine could turn out over 200. That's over 10,000 smokes an hour. In the Old West, there is something about these store-bought cigarettes. And throughout the Old West, most men continued to roll their own, carry a pouch of tobacco and cigarette papers. This was a custom that endured well into the 20th century. Many of the vices of the Old West didn't make it into the next century, at least legally. In 1906, Congress passed the Pure Food and Drug Act, which required products to list their ingredients. People started to become more aware of what they were putting into their bodies. It was a release of stress. And it wasn't until the understanding of depth of opium addiction and how rampant sexual transmitted diseases were. We have a lot of misconceptions about the Old West, that it was a, a romantic and exciting place. But in reality, the Old West was a hard place to live and a hard place to survive. You had professional prostitutes, bartenders, and people that made their living profiting off of other people's weaknesses. 